hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on kubernetes okay so if you have seen my previous tutorial we have spoke about uh, different types of controllers or workload resources in kubernetes right so we have seen what are the different kind of controller we can use like a replica set uh, deployments a stateful set uh, daemon set job cron job and uh, the old uh, one is replication controller right so what we are going to do is in this tutorial uh, you know we are going to talk specifically about a uh, replica set okay so we'll uh, talk about replica set how to write a replica set okay a yaml file and how to create uh, all those things so before uh, we get into that uh, let's talk about what is a replica set right so the replica set's purpose is to maintain a stable set of uh, replica uh, pods running at a given of time, right? So what does it mean? Like, you know, usually when you create a pod manually, when you get deleted, uh, you know, it will, you have to recreate it um, manually again, right? But in the purpose of replicas, that is you define like you need to run uh, you know, a set of uh, this kind of pod then it will make sure that in always those pods are running even in, if some pods get deleted or got uh, you know, uh, switched off or something like that. So that's the benefit. So the uh, replica set guarantees the availability of a specified number of identical pods. So that's the purpose of replica set. Okay. So how we can do that in replica set, we'll have fields uh, to select, like right? there is a match label uh, selector to identify which pods that can be part of this replica set. Okay. And we also need to define like uh, the replication count, like how many pods should uh, it should be maintaining. Like you need to have three pods uh, running for this container, or and also you need to define a template, like what kind of pod it should create. That, like this pod should be for uh, this application. Uh, so we will see all those things in uh, part of uh, this tutorial. Like we'll have a hands-on on how to write this uh, uh, replica set YAML file, where we'll be defining all these fields, selector, replication count, the template, and everything. Okay. So before I get into the actual hands-on, uh, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so or you are new to my channel, uh, kindly do that. And uh, please click on the bell icon so that you will be get notified if there is a new videos getting uh, not uploaded. And also kindly share my videos and uh, provide your feedback. So in order to get started, I'm uh, using a mini cube setup for Kubernetes. So if you don't know how to set up mini cube, please check the a video link in the video description where I have shown you the step-by-step -step procedure how to set up mini cube on your uh, local machine okay so if I go to the kubectl or kubectl cluster info you can see I have the mini cube running right so that's the uh, no cluster info now because I don't have any multiple nodes. It's a single node cluster, so I have those details. So and uh, let's let me clear out the screen, okay? And uh, if I see get parts, I'm sorry, it's parts, okay? Uh, I don't have any parts running, right? So what the first step is like? We need to create a YAML file where we will be writing the you know the replica set yeah, uh, configuration so uh, before that i will be using the sublime text editor where you know i have written all the, the yaml file uh, for the replica set so let's uh, go through this uh, in this uh, section so let's uh, go through this uh, yaml file so you'll be very clear on what it is okay so uh, first point of all the yaml uh, file is uh, the api version if you have seen like uh, the how port uh, yaml file we have written all the service yaml file there also we had api version right so here if you see the api version is app slash v1 so if you have some uh, doubt on that what you can do is you can go to your uh, kubernetes uh, uh, you know machine and you can write kubectl explain uh, this one is for replica set so uh, I just type replica set so that will give you the complete detail on what kind is if you see that it's, it should be kind replica set and the you know the API version should be apps slash v1 okay if you want to check the same thing for uh, ports or you know deployment you can use the explain command and it will show you uh, what is the kind and replica set you should use okay so that's the one way to f find out so let me go back to the yaml file so uh, as I mentioned, the API version is app slash v1 and the kind is a replica set, okay? 
and the metadata or what we are writing is we need to give a name for this uh, replica set so when it gets created it should give a name so i'm uh, using the name as ngnx friend end so if you use the uh, underscore or something it will not take because there is a specific format you need to use so uh, you have to check you know what kind of name you give so after the metadata you need to give a specification so there are two places for spec okay this specification is specifically for the replica set okay so if you see uh, the main part is a replica so i need to define how many parts it should be running so i'll be defining like three parts okay and uh, you need to have a selector what do you mean by selector like you need to find what kind of parts this replica should be mapping it right so any uh, parts with have uh, this uh, you know label so i'm using a key value parameter so app friend end right so uh, if you want to use something uh, like you can put like uh, environment dev or you know you can put anything but it should be a key value pair so you need to check that match label and uh, the main thing is this label should be matching with the template uh, meta labels in the pod as well okay because if you use something here and if you give something here the replica set will not find any parts to map it there so next step is the template part where we'll be defining the part uh, you know uh, data so we again we are going to use the metadata where we are going to use a label and this label as i mentioned it's a key value pair app front end which we will be using to the match match labels section okay and uh, the next part is for the spec for the pod where we'll be defining the container what kind of container the pod should run so here i'm going to use a, a ngnx image so if you want to use some other image you can use that as well okay so i'm going to give a name for the container as ngnx server and i'm going to use the image as ngnx okay and the pod uh, no uh, this is not mandatory if you want to put the ports i am using the port 80 and protocol tcp okay so what i will do is i'll copy this content okay i hope it's very clear for you so we are defining the replica as number you are uh, defining what the labels which you need to find and they should be matching here this label as well inside the pod template okay and uh, you are defining the container okay so let me go to the uh, mini cube and i'll create a file called replica set the name can be anything okay so i'm just using as replica set and uh, let me paste the content here so this is the content for we copied from there let me save it okay now uh, let me go and create uh, the replica set okay so i'll use kubectl create hyphen f and i will use the file replica set dot yaml and uh, i if i create in this with this command the problem is like if you want to make any future changes if you edit the replica set and if you run the kubectl apply command that will not take so uh, what i need to do is i need to add a few more parameter here so i'm going to use a uh, save config parameter as well okay so this is the one way to create this or you can directly uh, use like kubectl apply f and replica set dot yaml that will also create uh, the you know the replica set but i will use the kubectl create iphone app uh, and the uh, file yaml file and i'm going to save the config okay so let me run this now you can see yeah, we got the message that you know the ngnx front and the replica set is created so how you can check this is kubectl get rs rs stand for replica set now you can see it shows uh, three desire and three running right and uh, two is uh, current is three and two is ready so what does means like kubectl get parts you can see now all uh, ports are created so if i go to the previous command it should be three ready as well so uh, what does mean the two is like only two ports were uh, ready third was in creation so now uh, all three ports are getting uh, all three ports are created and running so let me also just use this command kubectl describe and uh, it should be rs uh, the name of the replica set is uh, gnx front end okay now if i use this command describe you will be getting the complete information of the replica set so that's the name right and the selector is the app is front end right and current uh, three current and three uh, pod status right and this is the pod template we are using ngnx and you can see the events it has created uh, three parts right 
So let me clear out the screen. Uh, let me go uh, again. Cube CTL get parts. Okay. Now we have three parts running, right? So this part name is uh, Nginx front end two Q F ninety, right? And the same way there is another two more parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete one of the part. So Cube CTL delete part, and I'm going to delete this one. So if you see it's uh, deleted okay so let me just wait that to be completed okay so it's got deleted now if I go and check the kubectl get parts if you see still I have a uh, three parts running uh, but if you see the difference is this part is not listed there anymore but it I have a different part uh, there right the name is uh, CJ x x5 so what does it means like this replica set always maintain the configuration what we define so we define as three parts so even if you delete one or two all the parts or as well it will recreate a uh, new part so how uh, so that's the benefit so if you go to kubectl uh, describe rs hyphen gnx front end you can see it uh, you know it has created another part in it's just 56 minutes 56 second right so this part is newly created because we deleted this one so that's the benefit of uh, replica set it's always try to create the configuration which uh, we have set it so let's uh, see one more uh, thing so when we use cube cuttle get parts we got the part running right let me also use this command uh, with o wide so what does it see is like you will also get the information on what is the IP address of the pod in which node this pod is running so since you know uh, I'm having mini cube there is only one node if you have a multi node uh, Kubernetes setup you may see you know one uh, pod is running on one node and the others may be on different nodes okay so that's the other command which you can use hyphen o y to get more information so let also see uh, one more uh, important feature like let me go and edit this replica set okay and I'm going to change uh, this replicas into five okay now what I will do is I will use cube cuddle apply hyphen f and I'll use the same replica set okay Now if I uh, run this command, it's uh, reconfigured. So if I go and uh, get uh, get RS, you can see now, you know, the state current and desired states has been changed. And if I go get parts, you can see there are five parts running now, right? So why it's because now we reapplied the configuration uh, from the new file. We are not uh, deleted or, you know, uh, we don't have to create a new one you can just apply the changes with uh, you know changing making the changes on the yaml file so that's a very good uh, benefit like if you want to increase the power numbers or decrease you can just change the you know the uh, configuration file and just uh, run it again so that's the benefit of replica set so if you see the you know uh, it's uh, desired and current state has been changed five and ready is five because there are five uh, parts running the same way even if you delete now any one of the pod, it, the the pod will be recreated so because you know you have set four or five so if any three parts get deleted also another three parts will uh, will be recreated so let me delete all the parts okay so let me cube kettle delete parts and i'll put all so they have uh, deleted all the five parts let's see you know what what will happen okay so let me can get parts now you can see it's uh, trying to recreate the parts but th these the names are different right so these all five parts are deleted two are running and another three is getting created see now four are running and one is getting created you can see now all the files are running so you, c you can see the what's the benefit of replica set right so it's always make sure that you know the defined uh, number of uh, replica ports are running always even if you get deleted or it's got shut down or whatever the case okay so let me clear out the screen now uh, if you see like we cannot we cannot uh, no, we can delete the parts but always the nose numbers come back so how we can delete all those things uh, permanently so the option is you have to delete the replica set so for that you need to use cube cuddle delete 
RLS and we need to give the name so it should be nginx front end so that means the RLS is deleted now if I go to kubectl get parts you may see all the parts are getting terminated so that means all parts will be also deleted as well so you can see four are deleted now only one part is left so let's wait you know I think it will take time you know depending upon each part getting deleted this one taking a little bit more time all of the four ports are deleted okay so that's the way you can delete all all, all the ports so if you want to delete it you have to delete the replica set now we can see uh, all the ports are deleted and we don't have any ports yet okay so that means uh, uh, once we deleted the replica set all the ports are deleted as well so if you go to get rs you will see that there is no replica set as well okay so I hope uh, this has given you clear information. So we have shown how to write a replica set, right? So you can make use of this format. You can change based on your requirement. And we have also shown how to create uh, the no replica set on a, a Kubernetes setup, right? You need to use those commands or, you know, you can also, I will also refer the Kubernetes uh, documentation in the video description. You can go through that as well. Okay. So that's all with this tutorial. I hope uh, this uh, tutorial is informative for you and uh, I want to thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video and other videos as well. Share as much as possible. Give your comments in the feedback. So I will be very happy to you know, make changes as per your feedback. Okay?